Hello, and welcome to this short video demonstration which will instruct you on the installation of a Backup Exec 2010 media server, as well as a new feature in Backup Exec 2010, the Backup Exec deduplication option. The installation process starts by asking you to select the language you would like the product to run in. Once you have selected your language, you get the main menu. Here you can choose to read Getting Started documentation, run a pre-installation environment check, or do an actual product installation. Once we've selected the installation path, we have four additional options. We can choose to install Backup Exec, install a Backup Exec remote agent, or install the Backup, Retrieve con backup Exec Retrieve Console, or the Backup Exec Continuous Protection Server. In this case, we're going to actually install Backup Exec locally. Once we've selected to go that route, the main installation engine begins to load. It takes a very short period of time, and once the main installation engine has finished loading, you will see that there is a very clear and logical workflow from start to finish in installing Backup Exec 2010 and any additional agents or options that you require in your environment. The installation process starts with a welcome screen, simply informing you that you are in fact about to install Backup Exec 2010. The next step is to agree to the terms of the license agreement. On this menu portion, we can choose to do a local install of Backup Exec software and options, locally install the remote administration console, or do a remote install. In this particular case, we are going to do a local install of Backup Exec. The next step in the installation process is a pre-installation environment check. Uh, this is where the installation engine ensures that there's proper hardware specifications for Backup Exec to run on the machine that it's being installed in, as well as additional software components installed to support Backup Exec once the installation is complete. You get an initial summary view and a more detailed view, which would inform you of actions you need to take to remediate deficiencies in your environment. On the next screen, you would enter in any license keys or Symantec license files that you possess. And then you choose which agents options that you want to go ahead and install. In this particular case, we're already installing a Backup Exec 2010 media server. Additionally, we're going to go ahead and install the Backup Exec deduplication option. If we had so chosen, we could also install some additional agents or additional options that are on this list. Next, we choose where we want to install Backup Exec. By default, it will go into the C drive down the Program Files Symantec Backup Exec directory. Once we've chosen our install location, we then go ahead and enter in our administrator privileges for the machine that Backup Exec is being installed on. On the next screen, you get to choose whether you want to use an existing instance of SQL Server or to create a local copy of, back of SQL Express to store the database on. Once we've made that selection, we then have the option to use either Symantec tape device drivers, which we do recommend as they have been certified and tested, to use Symantec device drivers for any devices that do not already have their own drivers loaded, or to not use Symantec device drivers. And once we finish that screen, we then get a summary for Backup Exec installation. In this particular case, it goes ahead and lists out exactly what it is we're installing and any license keys that we've entered. Once we've verified that those meet the specifications that we have, we go ahead and start the installation process.
Once the installation process has completed, we have a few additional options to view README documentation, create a desktop icon, and to run Live Update to check for available updates. And that is the installation of Backup Exec 2010 from start to finish. Once the installation is complete, we can configure some of the options that we've gone ahead and selected to install alongside Backup Exec 2010. Once installation has been finished, you have some additional workflow for getting Backup Exec 2010 functioning the way that you want it to function. You have the ability to, one, create logon accounts for user credentials for other backup resources. The second step would be to, to configure devices such as tape libraries, tape drives, disk arrays, etc. And finally to create media sets uh, to go ahead and store your backup data on. In addition, there are some easy walkthrough steps from technical support, uh, contacting the tech center, tech support, using your My Support page to check on the status of any existing cases or open new ones, as well as best practices and registration for software alerts. Additionally, you have the create Job Creation Tasks menu over here where you can create backup jobs, create policies to link those jobs, and create restore jobs. And finally, README, document, README documentation, the Administrator Guide, and any addendums to that Administrator Guide that have been published. So in a nutshell, that is the installation of Backup Exec 2010 from start to finish. Depending on the number of agents and options, the install process can take anywhere from approximately 8 minutes to up to 20 minutes. There will be further videos that show the configuration of Backup Exec deduplication, an overview of deduplication, as well as an overview of the archival option. Thank you.